Hi there, I'm Java Jim with First Line Equipment. And today what we have in front of us is the Puck Press Automatic Tamper. Now you may say, I have these tampers. Okay, we have a standard tamper, uh, which I use a lot. Uh, and basically I tamp by volume by going to the rim of the basket, to the rim of the tamper. That usually gives me a good tamp by volume. We also sell here at First Line click tampers. There's an assortment of those that clicks. Uh, but we have something that really uh, works well in regards to giving consistency. Uh, you might have a significant other who may not like these tampers. You may have a coffee truck uh, that you may need some speed and consistency. You may have a cafe where you have employees who are not going to be consistent and you want to lessen the amount of training for those employees. Uh, one, uh, they may care but not do it properly when it comes to tamping. Or you may have employees who just may not care when making espresso. Enter puck press. Okay, this uh, tamper will offer you the consistency to have the proper tamp. So if they get the proper dosage of uh, the espresso coffee grinds in the basket, the proper tamping and the proper fineness on the grind um, or the amount of coffee in the basket, uh, then you will produce a better espresso uh, coming out of the espresso machine. So uh, without further ado, let's start opening up. What we have here is the Q2 model. It is in 110 volts. We only carry the 110 volt models here at First Line. Here is an instruction manual. Good to read first before you operate the unit. And it says, hey there, set up the lower clamp before you do anything else, only then every tamp will be perfectly level and safe. So a little warning here. We have our uh, detachable electrical cord. We have our tool here. And now we will take this out here and just turn it upside down gently. Ooh, excuse me, excuse me. Okay, we have our foam packaging. We have our other tool here. And we have our Pruck Press Q2 model here in a bag. Nice and compact, okay. We have our power switch back here. We can plug in over here. We have our controls right here. And we have our little drip tray right here. Okay, let's get started. So we want to set the uh, clamp uh, uh, on the puck press. And what we need to do is remove the top cover. All I did was just uh, remove the top cover by friction. Uh, we want to take the cord to make sure the tamper here moves up. So the first step is plug it in in the back, plug it in, and power on. You might hear the tamper portion move up into position. Uh, once that occurs, you wanna power down, uh, unplug from the outlet. I'll even unplug the back of the unit, turn it upside down. We'll get the portafilter that you'll be using. And there are two screws or bolts right here. And as a turn dial, whoop, there goes the drip tray right here. So the thing is, it says here the lower clamp setting, which is this right here. It says down and up. So we're gonna put the portafilter in here, okay? And then we could turn down, but down really means this is coming down this way. So make sure 
we put turn up, so up means going that way. Okay, make sure that it's pretty tight. Okay, but not too tight that you can't remove the portafilter. So just enough where it's gonna get a nice slide going in and a little bit of resistance, okay? And then we'll tighten the nut. Can be a little difficult with depending on the spouts. So you may have to remove the portafilter. Not a good idea because you need this adjustment here. And look, so now it's pretty tight and it's actually too tight. So I'm gonna loosen this. This is where you may have to play a little bit. Okay, here it's good. I'm gonna hold this up here with my index finger and lift up while I tighten these. Okay. Now, it should be pretty tight where this is not gonna wiggle, okay? So, where you're gonna insert this, okay, and hit, you don't want this wiggling uh, because when it's tamping, you don't want it wiggling. So, now this side seems a little tighter. I'll loosen this side a little bit. So when you tighten the nuts, let's go downwards. Bring it down a little bit. Okay, we have it there. Okay, let's test it this way. Okay, still a little tight. So we want to bring this down, which we can't. Okay. Tighten the screws. Bring it down. So see, there's a little wiggle here. Let's hold this down. Let's try the opposite way. Where I'm gonna hold the forks down. Let's bring it up just a hair. See, when you tighten the screws, it adjusts it a little tighter. So you have to... Okay, so now we have it nice and smooth. Let's tighten it just a hair more. And let's test. So see how I tightened it and it went a little tighter. So we're gonna just loosen it again. And I'm gonna hold up on this side of the clamp. Okay, turn it over. Okay, just a little bit too tight. We're gonna go a little bit more. Okay, so you're gonna have to do a couple tries. The benefit is definitely worth it. So here it says down, I'm gonna bring it down a little bit. At least they give you the tools to do this. Okay, so now let's turn it over and test. Okay. And I probably want it just a little looser because if you notice, I have to hold a unit when I'm putting this in and I feel this side's a little tighter. So I'll loosen it one more time. And go in a down direction. So a little loose there. I'm gonna put my finger in here and tighten this side. And I'll test it again. And there we go. Okay. Actually it might still even be too tight. So Yep, there we go. Okay, so you want it, could even be a tad looser, just a tad.
We want it tight, but we want it smooth. So bring it down a little bit, tighten it up. And I should have kept the quarter filter in there because it fell. Little secret there, just turn the porta filter to the side. Okay, let's try this way. There we go. Smooth in, fast, okay, and really don't have to hold the puck press. So, this is where you want it not too tight, not too loose, okay? So, quick in, tamp, pull out. To get the cover on, there's tabs up here. You have four prongs, a wider tab, wider tab, and let's get that on there. If it doesn't work that way, try the other way. There we go. The cue for puck press goes like that. Let's get this plug back in. And I'll get the drip tray in the front. We have it powered on in the back. O is for off, I is for power. Let's slide in it. Beautiful. Look how nice that was, okay? That's the way, okay, it should work, okay? No wiggling. If you see the porta filter wiggling, it's not tight enough. If you have a hard time getting in, it's too tight. So as you can see, it's gonna take you a few to several tries to get it just right. It's a minutia adjustment, but adjustment that we wanna make. Let's move on to the next step. So we wanna uh, change the settings on the tamper because it can measure in kilograms and in pounds. And basically what we need to do is hold the clean button and the plus button and then power on. Okay, probably didn't do it right there, so I'll power off. Again, clean, and the plus button's on the top. Power back on, and there we have an SE menu. Okay, uh, so what we wanna do is hit the clean button when you have SC, and you have a CO button, or a screen, uh, and to change the settings here, one is for pounds, Okay, press the plus key. Okay, zero, zero is for kilograms in pressure, okay? And then one is in pounds. Press the clean button. Now we move to the C1 menu. And the C1 is for normal tamping or slow tamping. So if you get some portafilter jiggle going on, you may want to go to uh, the slow tamp, which you'll press uh, the plus and you get the one. Or if you press zero, uh, the minus key, you'll get zero, zero for the normal pressure or normal tamping. Okay, so you could change that. Press the clean again. Okay. Uh, if you want to see the revision number, you have a C2 menu. And let's hit the plus. That's your 05. Okay, press the clean again. We have an FR menu. And this is basically to go to default if you want a default settings. Okay, so we'll power off. Then we'll power back on. And here we have 40 uh, pounds and we could go in two pound increments. So if you want 30 pounds, you could change this from 20. And on this particular unit, you should be able to go up to 60 pounds of pressure. Okay, so if we put the porta filter in, okay, 60 pounds of pressure there. So we'll grind some coffee. 
on the Lelite William grinder, great little grinder, 600 watt motor. And again, to make it easier, you want the grinder to dose the same amount of coffee uh, that will come out into the basket. But one thing that I like is to make sure that the level of the coffee is the level of the rim. So I'm gonna add a little bit more. Now people do come in here and change settings on me and Okay, so a little tap, index finger across. We're pretty close to the rim of the basket and just put it in here. And look at that, a nice, nice, clean and level tamp. If you tamp crooked like this or like this, the water that gets pumped through the group head is gonna go through the path of least resistance. So it's really important to get a nice level tamp. This is at 60 pounds, so this is doing pretty good there. So um, again, slower normal tamp. And that's really what you want. A uh, nice pro hot portafilter, but this one cooled down a little bit. And basically this ensures that the tampering pressure is gonna be level and consistent. Let's move on to cleaning. So, We've used the puck press, and if you're in a commercial environment, you may need to do this once a day, once every few days, but we need to get this area in here clean uh, so that you have longevity and reliability with the puck press. To do that, we want to press the clean button, and you'll hear the motor go off. Take the top cover off, and they include the Allen key tool here, okay? And inside here is an Allen key screw. And we're gonna turn this counterclockwise, lefty loosey. Okay, till that's loose. And then the base, we could turn from the top, it's counterclockwise. Okay, now you may need to um, take the clamp off if it's too tight, okay? Okay, there we go. And just with a brush, and it's one thing that Puck Press doesn't include that I didn't see in the box, is a cleaning brush. But you can basically use any cleaning brush and just clean in here, uh, inside here. You wanna get nice and clean. Uh, an air can will also work well, okay, and then what we want to do is get this back in here. And then from the top, we're going to turn clockwise. Keep on turning until it stops. We'll tighten the screw. Put the tray back on. Put the cube cover back on. Press the clean or CL button again, and now we're ready to go. So it is important not to get too much buildup in here. You're gonna put more stress on the motor, but you also want it nice and clean. My advice, put it on a slow tamp. So like this, there's less um, grinds that will fly up into here. Uh, if you're using oily coffee, uh, an oily bean, uh, you may need to do it more often. So just keep that in mind, keep an eye on it, uh, keep it clean. Just like your espresso machine, keep it clean. It will become uh, more reliable and the longevity of this great automatic tamper uh, will last longer. So you will see uh, a greater useful life. I do really like this tamper um, or this automatic tamper. Uh, because again, it is flat across and it's consistent, okay? And that's really, really important when making espresso is consistency. Consistency of the grind fineness, consistency of the amount of coffee in the basket, consistency and level of the tamping pressure, okay? So this tool is fantastic. It is commercial grade, it's for commercial use, but you can also use this in a home environment and last but not least, just as you would protect your espresso machine, 
I strongly, strongly advise to get a surge suppressor, 1080 joules or higher, okay? Not a strip, a single outlet with dual um, uh, plugins, because in case you get a surge, you don't want the electronics to get uh, zapped with uh, the current. Warranty is handled by Puck Press themselves. Uh, if you have any issues, but they've been great so far to deal with from what we could see. And look forward to getting one of these in your home, your office, or even your co commercial establishment. Once again, this is Java Jim with First Line Equipment. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please give us a like, subscribe to our YouTube channel, because uh, there is more to come. And if you want more information on the other uh, Puck Press automatic tampers, just click on the link down below, as well as the link for this particular model right here. I believe you will certainly enjoy it. Thank you, and have a great tamping day.